major tsunami has struck northeastern Japan, sending a four-meter wall of water inland, which is currently causing widespread devastation. Now, the uh, tsunami that is currently underway in the northeast of the country was caused by an 8.9 magnitude earthquake and that struck 130 kilometers off the Pacific coast. Well, aftershocks have been felt within the last few minutes, and so far, 23 people are confirmed dead. But that number has been rising and is expected to rise. Now, there are also reports that the first wave has reached Russia's Kuril Islands to the north, uh, reportedly around a meter high, Those the waves of around a meter high. But as you can see in the pictures, you have massive walls of, of waves just eating up everything in its path. Now, the devastation, uh, in the devastation, there are about 200 people who have reportedly been washed away, several others missing on Japan's Sendai Island. Now, that is uh, the part of the country that's closest to the epicenter. Of course, the, the damage, uh, the quake itself, uh, was also felt in Tokyo, with fires and injuries widely reported. Um, they are still trying to calculate the economic costs, uh, inf damage to infrastructure. And right now, you're looking at an oil refinery uh, that is ablaze in Ichihara, Chiba Prefecture, and the authorities are still having a hard time containing the blaze has been going on for uh, quite some time now. Now the uh, Narita International Airport is also reportedly shut down. Now just to remind you, an 8.9 earthquake hit the northeastern part of the country. Uh, that's at around 2.46 uh, local time in Japan. That was in the middle of the afternoon. Widespread destruction being reported. Now, the uh, Russian president uh, has been giving his reaction to the tragedy. Dmitry Medvedev is pledging support for Japan, saying that Moscow and Tokyo can work together to combat this natural disaster. Of course, we're ready to help our neighbors in overcoming the effects of this severe earthquake. A state of emergency has also been declared on our soil, on the Kuril Islands, in the Sahalin region, where all necessary measures must also be taken to prevent damage and loss of life. The tsunami has already reached our shores, and we must all be consolidated at this time. I'm now ordering the emergency's minister to present a plan of assistance to Japan. Well, the uh, Prime Minister of uh, Japan has also uh, given a statement earlier to uh, calm the uh, citizens as the uh, devastation continues to, to unfold. Uh, he did say that there has been no damage to nuclear power plants, although there are about uh, 14 industrial complexes that have been uh, uh, affected by the earthquake. Now, as of the moment, we have the government confirming 18 uh, deaths and this number is expected to rise. You're looking at pictures. Okay, earlier it was the uh, wall of water eating up anything in its path. Now it's an oil refinery ablaze. This is uh, just east of Tokyo. All of this uh, destruction has been caused by an 8.9 magnitude earthquake and it struck about 130 kilometers off of Japan's Pacific coast. Dramatic pictures there uh, in the coast where the uh, earthquake had struck. There has been a tsunami warning for all territories on the Pacific Rim, reaching all the way to Hawaii, even as far as Colombia and Peru, according to the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. Well, uh, the wave has also reached uh, Russia's Kuril Islands to the north, uh, reportedly around a meter high. But in Japan, you have a four-meter a high wave sweeping into the Miyagi prefecture. We have been looking uh, throughout the day at uh, dramatic pictures of water engulfing cars, buildings and ships. Now about uh, 200 uh, people have reportedly been washed away, several others missing on Japan's Sendai Island. That is a part on the coastal area that is closest to the epicenter. Well, there are currently about 50 fires along the coastline, about 4 million homes without power. Uh, Prime Minister Naoto Kan has been organizing an emergency response team to uh, uh, tackle the disaster. Uh, according to uh, their reports, they're having a bit of difficulty going to the quake hit areas because of the devastation. Um, communication is crippled. The international airport is currently closed. Uh, again, we heard a statement from uh, Russia's president, Dmitry Medvedev. He reiterated that they will help each other to deal with the catastrophe.